Hello guys and welcome to the Everything Harley Benton Rig Challenge. Damn! Hey guys, welcome to Two Months Guitars and Basses. I'm Chris. And I'm Guillaume. And we are having a challenge today. The challenge of all challenges. You guys are asking for Harley Benton's all the time. Why don't we cover more? Why don't we show more? Why don't we showcase more and compare more? And mostly a lot of you guys have been saying every time we do a demo of something Harley Benton that, oh yeah, but you use it through that amp or you use it through that pedal or whatever. So we thought, why not do everything Harley Benton? Because, oh, <laughs> because we can. So we mean guitar, pedals, patch cables, power supply, board, amp. amp. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And the nicest part of it is you will decide which sounded best. So I don't know what he chose. We all have our preferences. We had some time to gather some pedals. Yep. And I don't know what he chose. He doesn't know what I chose. And we don't even know which amp we're going to be using. So we have the Mighty 15th and the Tube 15. And we are going to be doing Rochambeau to figure out who plays which. On three? On three. Damn. Fudge. I get the juice. <laughs> uh, I go two Thank you. Okay. Oh, so I have the verb. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. I'm not disappointed in the amp. I'm sure it, it's going to sound great. My main problem is that it doesn't have any reverb, and I'm a reverb boy. So yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. And by the way, this is not going to be a full-on review of all the pedals and amps and whatever what we're using today. This is going to be just a rig challenge and uh, it's gonna be a fun video for sure. If you're more into like details and oh, you wanna see all the Harley Benton stuff, there's a Harley Benton channel here on YouTube. You check it out, it's in the description box and uh, they cover everything. Everything, Harley Benton all of the cells, sets. everything. So let's build some pedal boards. All right guys, let's have a quick look through my rig for this challenge. I'm gonna start with the guitar cause it's right here and it's that ST62 Deluxe by Harley Benton obviously. Uh, I went single because I wasn't too sure in between Strat and Tally, and, but I, I knew I wanted to get f uh, single cause because that's kind of my comfort zone and I knew it was already going to be kind of challenging to get the tones that I'm familiar with through that rig. So yeah, I'm sure they'll do a great job and I haven't heard it yet though, but it does play really great. So that's cool. That's for the guitar. As you might have seen, I lost the Rochambeau to Chris on the amp who get switch. I, I did look disappointed and that's only because of the reverb. Like I love reverb and the um, Tube 15 has a really great like actual reverb tank and everything. So I was kind of hoping that I would get that, but the Mighty 15 will be perfect as well. It's got a great sound, even though I will not have any reverb. So let's, oh, that's very unconventional. I'm going to go reverse order on the board. That's why I got the DC delay. So that's probably the next best thing. If I don't have reverb, at least I'll have some delay. And this one's got a bunch of really cool features uh, in terms of like the amount of delay sounds, but I can get some modulations out of it as well, which is pretty cool. And presets, like at least like two different sounds out of that unit, which is really nice if I'm going for a clean ambient kind of delay and like maybe a shorter slap back for lead or something like that. So that's cool. Then I have the ultimate drive. And I think this one is going to be like an always on. At least that's what I have in mind when I, what I had in mind when I picked it. It's got a really cool low gain mode. And that's just going to be sort of a tone shaper because I like to use the volume knob on the guitar. So I think if everything goes according to the way it sounds in my head right now, that's going to be my always on overdrive. Then the vintage overdrive, obviously, because you need a green pedal on your board and that's going to be like pushing me into blues rock sort of territory. And this one's really great. I have it, uh, like I, I bought that pedal because it's, it's just perfect. It does everything you expect from a green overdrive pedal. So yeah, no problem at all with these two. And then a bit of a weird flex. I didn't really know what to add in terms of like modulations or if I... I don't really use compressors or things like that. So I went for the AW5, the Auto Wah. Thought if I want to go sort of John Mayer or like Childish Gambino kind of kind of licks, this this could be a cool thing. And I'm pretty sure that Chris is not going to pick this one. So that'll be my my sound, like my special thing. And I think that guitar into that board, into that amp is gonna sound great. So welcome everyone. This is our tone couch. I have my guitar. My weapon of choice is the Fusion 2 Silver Sparkle 
guitar, double humbucker, cross split. I know this guitar because I own the exact same guitar and uh, I know how it sounds. This is the one from uh, the Tolman um, showroom, so it's not my guitar, but I tested it. It's, it's gonna be perfect for the job. Uh, then the pedals. I have three overdrives, one modulation, and one delay. Let's start with the overdrives. Uh, this is gonna be the um, low gain um, green pedal kind of <laughs> thing to kick one of these pedals in the butt for more gain, basically. Uh, so that's gonna be used for sure. Then one of these will be my main distortion sound or overdrive sound. We'll see which works better with the Tube 15. And um, this has more gain, this has more tonal options and uh, sounds great on lower gain settings. So we'll see about that. Vintage phase. I love phasers. And this is that classic one knob phaser kind of circuitry. So um, I know I love this for clean, for dirt. We'll see. And I've chosen this, uh, the DL5 delay, because it's a little more vintage uh, voiced than like let's say the DC which would have been an obvious choice because it, uh, because it offers a lot of different sounds. I went for this because I wasn't sure if I will have an amp with a reverb. So uh, this is, um, you can set this to be your substitute for a reverb. I don't need that because I have the Tube 15 with the reverb so I will use this as a normal delay in this case and I'm very much looking forward to trying it out. <laughs> yeah, of course. I see what you did there. Of course, uh, you did. Cable. <laughs> Sorry. Technical difficulties. Obviously, you would pick this one. That only makes sense. Well, you know me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not mine, though. I totally forgot to bring it. Okay. No, but that's <laughs> so, fine. That's fine. But I mean, that's. From the, uh, the showroom. It's the guitar yeah. you used to. You didn't even change the pickup in yours, right? No, no, no. I still have the Roswell. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get that. And uh, I mean, uh, it's, um, it's a familiar shape of a guitar. St st guitar. <laughs> st st style. <laughs> yeah, just comfort zone. So I'm familiar with st sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like this, this will probably make it yeah. easier on me. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. it's a great cool. guitar. Cool. Let's see the pedals. One, One two, two, three. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I was well. like, wait, which one's mine? <laughs> yeah. You have considerably more pedals than I do. Well, you know me. Oh, well, wait, that's no, actually just not one. very. It's <laughs> just one. <laughs> it's not very typical for okay. me. Okay. Uh, I, actually, I wasn't sure about the amp I'm gonna get. Yeah. So that's why I have three drive pedals, and uh, I'll try which works best with the yeah, 215. Now that I know, I'm not I shocked have... by three drive pedals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, wow. What is that? Ottawa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna get some funk on. Um, I have a question. Yes. Free drive pedal, sure, anytime, always. Yeah, yeah. Always. Why in that order, though? Well, why wouldn't you? Well, the American is, is a preamp kind of pedal, isn't it? Uh, when you have it last? Yeah, of course, but that's the, the voice knob that makes it a preamp. Okay. So uh, you can also use it as oh, some sort cool. of a, a, your sound. I did not know that. So I was thinking that's going to be my main drive sound. Okay. And then kick it with the vintage overdrive if necessary for yeah, more gain. Okay. But uh, I know the Tube 15, I know it takes drive pedals well, so I might not even use the American yeah, yeah. sound at all. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, let's, let's try, because we've seen them. Nice. Now let's, let's hear them. I almost took the DC too, because <laughs> it's such yeah, an obvious I mean, choice. It's right? great. It's really great. And yeah, just on the offset that I wouldn't have reverb, which now we know is the case. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that too. Uh, yeah, I've got a little bit more options than just a regular delay pedal. So, you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please. I'm so happy I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest surprise. Yeah, wow. right? <laughs> I did a whole Hit The Tone episode on that song and I can't even play anymore. <laughs> Anyways, that's You should the, watch uh, that episode. Yeah, I, I'm going to rewatch. <laughs> that's the Ottawa and the DC together. And I'm so glad yeah. I got the Ottawa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Like it opens up, like, like it sounds it has so good. The exact like wall sound, the wah, wah. Right. Exactly I'm how you want. So psyched. Okay, right, let's never try that pedal. Well played, sir. Yeah, right? Let's play some overdrives. <laughs> to say honestly I wouldn't change anything the strings are a little bit too thin for me okay like I'm, yeah, used yeah. To, I, I'm playing 11 to 52 years old in standard 11? yeah and so like that's a 46 at best no no 42 for sure. so I, I'm definitely picking it out of tune so that's a little bit of a of a, a learning curve yeah, 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 yeah right on but I'm, I mean of course vintage overdrive yeah, not surprised yeah Three singles, um, a green pedal. Yeah, I tried to stack both earlier. It doesn't really work as well as I thought it would be because that was my whole thing. I wanted to have this one as an always on, the yeah, ultimate drive. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't work so well as a stack or maybe not in that order, but the ultimate drive on its own though. Oh, uh oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> On a single coil bridge pickup. Yeah. That's it's that's not, really good. And it's not pokey, it's just rock. And that's the low gain mode. Okay. Give me some high gain. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> It's not pokey. Yeah, it, got, it still works in the high gain mode. Uh, okay, now I'm a little bit worried. Honestly, I'm so impressed. Like the auto one, mostly. I'm super psyched because I don't even have an auto one. I might have an auto one now. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Enough of that. Enough of that. All right. Yeah, Moving okay, on. Okay. Let, let's sh I show you mine. Show, show me yours. <laughs> That's the DL5. Then some vintage overdrive. I chose the wrong delay. In front of that. It's good, right? It's so good. It's so, good. <laughs> it's so subtle. Classic, expected. Damn. What about playing that with a phaser? Like, I don't what? know. No, I, no. It, it worked well. I was <laughs> expecting you to go like all EVH. Yes, like, oh, no, <laughs> no I, I'll, I'll stick to something not proper. <laughs> Oh, 
Time. It's a bit more gain. That's a bit more gain. <laughs> okay, they, I was worried because when you started stacking, I was like, ah, oh, it didn't work for me. But that's because it got really, really pokey with the single curls and different I should Different guitars, have, different amps. I should have expected that, yeah. but yeah. hot aim. That it's interesting how the, how the amps react, right? Like oh, yeah. the two exact same yeah, overdrives. Yeah, of course, man. And but just, of course, different guitars, but the voicing of the amps yeah. is so different. The 215 is a little more, or it doesn't go that low as the Mighty 15th with the 2x12 cap. Yeah, of course. So it doesn't have that crazy low end, but it also has a little less mid-range, so it's more of a balanced combo, I guess. Yeah. And the Mighty 15th is just a mighty sounding amp. Yeah. I mean, the name fits well. Just the fact that there's, you know, you have some reverb dialed in, like oh. it takes the edge off of everything, because mm -hmm. my, my problem with the Mighty is, it was kind of hard to dial in the overdrives without it being like, drive. so dry. <laughs> yeah. But like the delay really solved that and yeah. I, I ended up having like really cool sound. So I'm, I'm happy with my rig. Me too. I would change one thing now in retrospect, now okay. that we've heard everything, on top of the strings. Okay. Because that was my biggest, biggest issue. Okay, yeah, sure. The delay. Delay. Because your delay sounded so good. This is such an underrated pedal. Like everyone right. thinks of this a D seed and uh, and this is just around and sort of yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, 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 there's a DL5. And I actually love and prefer this to the other. Yeah, I thought the footprint would be bigger as well. Yeah, like, well, it's not like that big, like I a know, clone but or like something. sometimes when you yeah. see the custom line on the website, you're like, oh, they they like double the size yeah. of the other ones. Yeah. They're actually not. Like if you, if you put them sideways, they're barely bigger than the just regular footprint. Yeah, wider than yeah, yeah. That's really cool. All right, enough blabbering. You guys, let us know who won because we have a plan. The winner will. <laughs> take part in an even more crazy challenge. We'll not tell anymore. Okay. Um, we'll okay. see about that. I don't even know. So. <laughs> well, I do. And, uh, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And uh, I hope I don't win. I win. I don't win. I win. I think it'll be awesome. I think I won. Let's be uh, honest. Nah. <laughs> I had the auto Y, obviously. Won. Okay, the auto Y. Okay, that, that's a huge plus point. Let us know in the comment section who you think uh, deserve the, the best Har everything Harley Benton rig best stone. And, uh, Best own. and we'll bring you a, another crazy video about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's going to be follow up. You guys take it easy. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell in case you enjoy the videos. And uh, take care of yourself. I've been waving for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're looking good. Dude. You can keep on doing it. Bye bye. Should we go and make some pedal boards? Yes, yes. Let's get on there. Right foot, let's stop. Left foot, let's stop. Freeze!